Howard Jones Field, Andy Hageman and Dan Weber here for uscfootball.com instant analysis. Dan, it was a little bit of a different format here today at Howard Jones Field. What did we see out there? It was They called it the Trojan Bowl. Break it down for us. Well, uh, Ed said that, you know, basically yesterday was the only time the uh, starters, the guys that played a lot, were going to really, you know, practice this week. We didn't exactly know what that meant. Well, now today we did. We saw them come out. All the guys that basically played at Arizona State are in T-shirts and shorts. And, uh, and the rest of the team, uh, you know, I think about 47, 48 guys were uh, in, uh, and I think 11 scholarship players were in uh, full gear. And they started, as soon as they, you know, got loosened up, they started with a kind of an hour and a half uh, game. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, they had a lot of fun. Ed said it's something that they used to do at the University of Miami when he coached there. And he said, I want them to have some fun today. Uh, gives kids that, you know, don't get a chance to play a lot, a chance to play. Max Brown got to, you know, get a lot of reps, quarterback, throw the ball a lot. Uh, a lot of those, uh, you know, walk on uh, running backs and receivers got a lot of chance to, to make plays. Delvin Simmons made an unbelievable uh, hit, a Jadavian Clowney type hit on uh, John Akiba. Uh, Ryan Dillard you know, had some great, uh, you know, contact plays. So uh, it was a kind of a real upbeat thing. And uh, all the, you know, the guys, the, you know, the players on the depth chart got to be the coaches. So they had a, had a great time running around on the sideline and high-fiving and, and all of that. So uh, kind of a good day. There's a few spots open on the coaching front. Do you foresee a new assistant coach coming in? It sounds like there might be. Ed, Ed did say yes. Uh, the report that he talked to uh, uh, Jeff Tedford was correct, mm -hmm. and he did uh, talk to him about an offensive spot and uh, that uh, Tedford, you know, had good things to say, positive things to say about USC, but it wasn't exactly the right time. Ed did say also that, you know, he's talked to, I mean, no, he hasn't talked to anybody else yet, but a couple of people have called him. He hasn't called anybody. And he said, we'll see how it goes this week. He kind of likes the way the staff is shaping up. But he didn't close the door to, um, to what might be, you know, maybe more, you know, a defensive coach. I mean, they're down to just three. And, Ed, you know, he, he meets with uh, uh, Clay Helton every day, he says, in the morning. But he, only, he doesn't go to the offensive meetings. He only goes to the, uh, the defensive meetings. Does, he goes to the recruiting meetings. But, uh, uh, you know, he's got to, you know, budget his time. So do they need another coach on defense? Uh, maybe. A week from today, the Trojans host Arizona in the Coliseum for the first Thursday night game ever there. How are the Trojans holding up on the injury front? Well, Ed said he's absolutely not going to take injuries into cons consideration in terms of practice, in terms of contact. He said they're coming back you know, uh, for a full pads, you know, physical uh, you know, practice on Sunday, and then they're going to start the week that way. He's not going to, you know, try to hold back or pull back because of the injury situation. Uh, we did see uh, Marquise Lee showed up uh, after rehab, walked across the field, not much of a limp, uh, nothing on his knee. So that's a, you know, positive sign. I thought Devon Flournoy was walking much better today than yesterday. So that's two wide receivers that may have a shot at, you know, being back by next Thursday. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think we know for sure, and I don't think, you know, um, uh, Coach Orgeron knows, but uh, looked better than, you know, did a couple of days ago. That wraps it up from Howard Jones Field. Signing off for Dan Weber, I'm Andy Hageman. Check out uscfootball.com for more.